Welcome back to the Budget Gamer channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really incredible game called Crossing Souls. The initial trailer footage on the eShop made me reminisce of those early Saturday morning cartoons from the late 80s and early 90s, so I had a bit of an expectation of what I was getting into. But even that did very, very little to prepare me for what this game actually was going to be. Crossing Souls is a passionate romance to everything an 80s kid would have loved about their childhood in the late 80s and early 90s. Not satisfied with merely making references to early video games and tributes to cult classics, Crossing Souls takes all of them and recombines them into a completely new and novel game. In all honesty, I think the last time I've seen something put together like this was maybe Earthbound. If you are in your mid to late 20s or mid to late 30s, you're going to find everything about your childhood represented in this game. While there are explicit references to classic video games, comic books, and movie posters, the real homage to 80s and 90s culture comes out in the actual gameplay itself. Playing as a group of kids from different walks of life and really strong personalities, you navigate through your town to uncover this gigantic mystery of government conspiracy. The entire escapade starts off as a group of kids getting together on a summer afternoon to go look at a dead body one of them found in the woods. From there, this motley crew gets ensnared in a government plot to take over the world and ends up having to save not only their reality, but the entire afterlife as well. Now, while I initially thought that this was just going to be another early gaming tribute game that I could probably sit down and beat in two or three hours, I could not have been more wrong. I actually thought I was getting pretty far along when I started playing until the opening credits started rolling an hour into gameplay. Now, while most games with multiple different characters, each with their own attributes, normally finds ways to incorporate them all into puzzle play, Crossing Souls actually fundamentally designed the gameplay around each of the characters, representing nearly every type of 80s and 90s game gameplay genre in this one game. From beating bosses through gameplay dynamics like Simon, to running back and forth like the Aaron Boy RPG Quest style gameplay, to early side-scrolling beat-em-ups, to Excite Bike, onto bullet hells, and everything else you can possibly imagine. It's all represented in this one game, and though most encounters can be handled regardless of which character you like playing as, some characters' unique quirks were obviously designed for each type of gameplay. And besides all of these incredible gaming innovations, the music and the soundtracks are really unparalleled, especially at this price point. And the thing that really impressed me the most was how much of this game there actually is. If you're a master at all gaming styles, you could probably crush this game in about 12 hours. But that being said, the content is just as rich as it was from the introductory scene to the final scene in the game. And all things considered, looking at it, having played through it, having devoted myself to going from beginning to the end in as close to one sitting as I could, this game wasn't just a montage of tributes, it must have really been a passion for the game developer. And I'll give them props, they did an amazing job. Anyway, regardless of what your gaming style is, this is one that is a must for anyone's collection. And you better know that if a physical copy ever comes out, I'm going to be first in line for it. Anyway, that about wraps up the review of Crossing Soul, so if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to throw me a like to show your support, and don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell icon to stay updated with the latest content as soon as it comes out. These videos do come out multiple times a week, so there's always going to be something new to find. Whether it's good or bad or ugly, you're probably going to find it here. Anyway, as always, this has been Budget Gamer, so thanks for watching.